Tonight, mixed messages. A K-file investigation this hour finds Kamala Harris is targeting crucial battleground voters with vastly different messages on Gaza and Israel. This ad is running in Michigan, which has the largest Arab population in America. What has happened in Gaza over the past nine months is devastating. We cannot allow ourselves to become numb to the suffering, and I will not be silent. All right, well, it's a very different story for an ad in Pennsylvania targeting Jewish voters. Let me be clear. I will always stand up for Israel's right to defend itself, and I will always ensure Israel has the ability to defend itself, because the people of Israel must never again face the horror that a terrorist organization called Hamas caused on October 7. Different message. Andrew Kaczynski is out front now. So, Andrew, those obviously do sound um, starkly different, yeah. to say the least. Tell me more about what you found. Yeah, that's right. And this, look, this really illustrates the sort of fine line that the Harris campaign is trying to walk here in the closing weeks, closing days of this campaign on uh, the issue of Israel. Here you have two entirely different constituencies, and they are getting two entirely different messages. There are often uh, times these constituencies have very opposing views on this. If you are a Jewish person in Pennsylvania, you saw that ad that you're getting. Uh, you are getting that ad that talks about how strong uh, strong she is in Israel. If you're a Muslim voter in Michigan, you are getting that ad uh, on Facebook that's talking about um, talking about how she won't be silent on the issue of Gaza. Now, what's really interesting here is that ad uh, that we that we just played, the one that's going to uh, Jewish voters in Pennsylvania. Now, it sort of sounds like those two clips of her talking about Israel uh, are together, but they actually cut part of it out. Take a listen to what they cut. What has happened in Gaza over the past 10 months is devastating. President Biden and I are working to end this war such that Israel is secure, the hostages are released, the suffering in Gaza ends, and the Palestinian people can realize their right to dignity, security, freedom, and self-determination. And you've seen, too, that she, uh, well, they obviously, they cut out that portion of the ad where they talked about Gaza from uh, her DNC speech. Those two ports were um, together. They sliced them. They cut that part out. Now, look, she's also getting hammered a lot on this issue by Republicans. We talked just a couple days ago about how those robocalls were airing in Wisconsin that are made to sound like they're in support of Jill Stein talking about her position on Gaza, saying that uh, they're highlighting her pro-Israel position, uh, and it's, they're sort of trying to siphon those votes away from her. So this is a really delicate issue for her.